In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of different elements and embellishments to coordinate with your projects. So I'm in Adobe Photoshop, and I'm going to use the 14 Days of Valentine's kit from Summertime Designs. This was a free kit from her website at summertimedesigns.blogspot.com. Now, you are allowed to do the steps that I am going to show you as long as it's for personal use only. You cannot change the designs that she has in her kits and sell them or use them to make money um, or any thing like that without using or asking her permission. So um, just be aware that this is just for personal use for your own personal blogs or scrapbook, um, digital scrapbooks or projects. Okay, so I'm going to choose my element that I want to adjust. And I'm going to go to edit to quick and here I'm going to use the color panel to adjust the color of my bow. So I can play with the saturation I can play with the color hue I can play with the temperature and the tint. So you can use all of these elements here to change your image that you want to change to make it coordinate with the project you're working on. In Creative Memories Storybook Creator Plus 3.0 I've chosen one of their um, paper 12 by 12 for my background and I have some elements here that I'm going to make coordinate with this paper. So I'm going to add each of my elements in my screen and I'm also going to choose an element from this kit. Okay, so I'm going to lay these out so you can see them. And the brad I'm going to make a little bit bigger so you can see, and then I'll make it smaller. So um, I'm going to start with the brad first. So I'm going to go to Color, Adjust Hue, and here I can change my color along the hue. I can change the saturation. I can change the intensity. I can choose a color from um, the palette here, or I can take a sample color from the screen. So if I want it to be pink, I can take a sample from this pink or the purple or the green to make it coordinate with the project. So that's my brad. Now I'm going to do this button and I'm going to take it and make it purple and you can see how fast that was to make it coordinate. Now bolder images like the sequin is a little bit harder to work with. So if I use the sample color from screen and I want it to be pink, notice when I go over the pink it's a hot pink. So I just need to change the saturation and the intensity to make it look more like the pink on the paper. Uh, next I'm going to do this flower and this one is from one of the kits in Storybook Creator. And instead of the green I want to make it um, purple. So. I'm going to go ahead and use the sample color. And notice how it's not the same color. Um, 
by making some adjustments. And playing around, you can find um, the right color. So um, not all of them work as easy as the elements I've done, but um, like for example this one when I used the purple it didn't go to purple. So. Um, and then last I'm going to do this ribbon. Um, and I'm going to do it pink. So bring it over to the pink. And it's just that easy. So you can use different elements from different kits to coordinate with the projects you're working on.